to create the perfect ring join for soldering. First of all, when you're rounding your ring on a mandrel, make sure the ends of your wire are coming together in a nice curve. The rest of your ring can be all kinds of wonky at this point, but those ends are important. Once you have a good curve on each end, bring your ring over to your bench peg and take a look at the ends. If you've sawed them straightish to begin with, they should look something like this, with the bottom edges touching and a gap at the top. The aim is to get those ends to meet as a seamless join with no gaps or holes. So first of all, we're going to take a flat file, prise apart the ring enough so that your file fits in the gap, pop your ring on your bench peg and file out the inside edge of the wire. Keep filing and checking until that gap at the top has disappeared and the ends are coming together flat surface against flat surface. Now, this join is okay, but what we're looking for is perfection. So once your ends are together and touching, cross them over, then bring them together to get them as close together as they can be. Take your jeweler's saw and placing your ring as far back in your bench peg gap as you can for maximum support, very gently saw through the join from the outside in and then from the inside out. Hold the ring with your free hand as tightly as you can and press the join together so that the ring doesn't move or warp. You may need to repeat this step a few times for perfection. Then cross your ends over and bring them together one last time and you'll have a perfect join ready for soldering. Easy.